Looking for more information on Submagic and how I can help you transform your short form content? Well, by the end of this video, you'll have access to a software that's specifically designed to simplify the editing process, elevate your content, and unleash creativity like never before. My name is Rakeem Madison. Let's get into the content. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need is a Submagic account. So what I want you to do is the first link down below in the description is the link you can go ahead and click. That's gonna give you access to a free account. And if you stick with me throughout the rest of this video, I'll give you a way to actually get 10% off any other paid plans if you actually decide to upgrade, all right? All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see, this is the main page. It says create viral shorts in seconds with AI. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you inside of the account so you can see exactly what that looks like. All right, so what we're looking at right now is inside of the dashboard of Submagic. So as you can see right here, it says, projects and new video and you can see it'll show you all of the videos that you've already done inside of here nine times out of ten if you're just getting started you're probably not going to have any videos there but i'm going to take you through the entire process you have nothing to worry about just continue to watch this all the way through okay all right so first things first is we want to go right here to where it says new video we want to go ahead and click that and then right here, this is where we're gonna upload your video, okay? So go ahead and get your video footage and then go ahead and upload your version of a short in here. And then all you gotta do is just go ahead and click right here, okay? And then what I'll do is I'll grab the short. You see how it's already in the nine by 16 already, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and double that up. Okay, so now what it's gonna do is I can come over here and what it's doing is just transcribing, just so you're aware. Now I can come over here and I can say, okay, this is gonna be my sub magic sample. Okay, so we're just gonna roll with that. Now you can see I can go ahead and click on the different languages. So English, French, Arabic, Bashkir, all these different ones, right? But for sake of this video, I speak English, so I'm gonna just go ahead and keep it on English. Now when I hit upload, what it's gonna do is gonna go through the transcribing process and then we're gonna move to the next step. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on upload. All right, so after your video is uploaded and it's transcribed, it's gonna bring you to this page right here. So you can see we got the style tab, the captions tab, the B-rolls tab, the trim tab, and the publish tab. I'm gonna take you through each each and every one of those steps so just make sure you're paying very close attention all right all right so the style tab now i love what they've done here they've actually went out and did the research on some of the top creators and the animations and the styles that these creators are using when it comes to their captions and what i like is now instead of you having to manually do all of this stuff yourself you can literally just come in here and click a button and it's literally going to take care of everything for you i'm going to show you exactly what i'm talking about so for example Alex Hormozzi is a very popular content creator and business owner here on the internet, right? So if I wanted to use his style, like his style of captions, then I can literally just come here and hit Hormozzi and you can see it just popped up right there, right? And it gave the slant and the animations that he uses right here in this app, just in the click of a button. Now, if I go to Devin Jatho or Jatho, I don't know exactly how you say his name, but if I click on his style, boom, I instantly have his style just like that, right? And then Ella, Tracy, Dan, Luke, just in the click of a button. Now, another thing I could do is I can come down here. Let's say I want to adjust like the size of it, right? I, let's say I don't want it that small. I could literally just go like this and boom, it's bigger just like that. Now, another thing I could do is let's say I don't want it like sitting on my chin. I could literally just go up or I can either go down like that, right? Now I recommend it somewhere right here because you don't want them looking all the way down here and not paying attention to your eyes, right? Because the eyes is what create the connection, right? So you wanna make sure that it's like somewhere right here so they're still kind of focused in on your face, all right? So that's the biggest tip I'll give you, all right? All right, so now that's that's in regards to moving it around. Now, let's say I don't want this color scheme. Matter of fact, let's go back to Devin's. I kind of like that style. So when I go back to Devin's, let's say I don't want to use red, green, or this particular color here. I can click on the main color, which is red, and let's say I want my color to be blue. Then now, when I go to this, you're going to see that my color going to so be exactly... Oh, let me let me pause it. My so color going to All right, my color going to be exactly how I want it. So let's go ahead and rewind this. So if I was trying to teach you something and you knew I had no proof that I knew what I was talking about, would you want to learn from it? Yeah, I know the answer to that question. Absolutely not. All right, so there it is, right? So you can see I already got my captions. They added the emojis. They did everything for me, right? Now let me take you through the rest of this process. So now let's go back up here and let's go to the captions tab. Now this is where they've literally transcribed everything that I've said in the video. You can see it's all here. 
here. But what I like about there is you can look right here. It has a 99.02% accuracy when it comes to transcribing content. So once again, that right there saves you a ton of time. Okay. So now when I go through here, let's say for instance, I want my captions to look a certain way. Let's say I don't want uh, just one line. Let's say I want to move it to two lines. So what I would do, let's go to, let's go to the line where I said uh, I was talking about. All right. So you see how that goes across the screen like that. I don't really like it to go across the screen like that because I know over here is where we have the heart button. We got the comments and we got all of that stuff, right? So it might not necessarily look right. So what I want to do is I want to come here and I want to click where it says talking about, I would click on talking and I can add a line break so I can move it to the next line. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I can go ahead and hit add line break and you see what it just did, right? It just bumped it to the next line, right? So that looks a lot better. So that's something that you can do. Now, another thing that you could do, let's say that I want to add a sound effect. So you notice right here, we can see we got this right here, right? I can go ahead and click on that. And then I can instantly add a click, a ding, a money sound, a pop, any one of these sounds right here. And then I can also adjust the volume for that particular sound, right? So you see literally everything is just a click of a button. Okay. So now the next thing I can do is I can add an emoji. So if I click here, I can go ahead and add an emoji in here. So I'm just going to add a random one in here so you can see how this works. So I'm going to click on this. All right. And then I'm going to, you, you see, it just popped up right there. Right. So I'm going to hit play. So if I was trying to teach you something and you knew, and then you can see it's not just a still one. It's one that kind of moves around because it's, everything is playing into the theme or the template that is specific to the type of content creator. Okay. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the next tab. So this is how we will add B rolls to this. So when it comes to B rolls, you can either hit magic B rolls where they literally take care of adding all the B roll for you, which that tool still needs a little bit of work. I'm going to just be honest with you. It needs a little bit of work because sometimes it's not, it's, it's AI, right? So it's trying to figure out, okay, is this the right scene for this or is it not the right scene, right? So I recommend you go through here and you add in your own B-rolls. You might get some that it gets a little lucky and it puts the right thing, but you definitely want to take the time to figure this out yourself, okay? All right. So this is how simple it is to do it on your own. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to this section. Let's say I want this section to be that thing. So I will come here, I will hit the plus and then you you see we got three options we got the b-roll we got the original let's that's that means i want to edit something that's showing my face versus the b-roll and then this right here is where i add the image itself so i'm gonna take you through all of them so first is the b-roll so you click on b-roll you then go to add and let's say i'm talking about golf in my short form content i'm gonna type golf and i'm gonna look at all the different b-roll scenes just to see which one is gonna resonate with me best so for now i'm gonna just go with this one i'm gonna click on that i'm gonna hit apply and then now before i apply it fully what I want to do is I want to add a transition so when it happens I want I want like a transition plus a sound to happen right so you can see right here they have transition animations they got the film burn film burn two, the glitch all of that I'm gonna go with a film burn you see how it, it already added it right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply and then I'm gonna go to that section and I'm gonna show you what happens yeah I know the answer to that question absolutely not. you see how it had the automatic sound effect because all I did was clicked on that and because that animation has everything already in it boom that just saved me even more time all right so now that's how you add the b-roll so i'm gonna go ahead and remove that all i gotta do is just hit this trash can boom it's gone okay so now let's say i want to edit my screen which is this right here i'm gonna go ahead and hit the plus I'm going to hit original. And then what I can do is I can actually do, let's say I want to do a zoom, like a zoom fast or something like that. Right. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit apply. And then we're just going to watch my scene right here. Yeah, I know the answer. To you that. see how I just zoomed in fast. Now, obviously you may not want to use that particular transitions, but they have multiple ones there. Okay. So let's say I'm done with, you know, that particular edit. So I will come here, hit the trash can again, hit the plus, and then I will go to image. So this is how I would add an image. So the same way I'll hit add, I'll come over here we're just gonna keep the golf theme for now all right let me find a golf picture okay let's roll with this one right here and let's go ahead and hit apply and let's just add a film berm in there same kind of thing i'm gonna go ahead and hit apply and then we're gonna watch that real quick yeah i know the answer to that question absolutely all right so you can see it's very very simple i'm using the film burn one because i kind of like that one you can kind of play around with the other ones if that's what you want to do but that's how you add the 
B-roll, edit your main content, and then also adding in the image. So another thing you could do is you can actually add in a GIF as well, same process. So I would click this right here instead though. So I'll click add GIF or image, and then I can literally hit add, come in here, just keep the golf theme for now. All right, let's find a GIF, that's a golf GIF. All right, so there's Tiger Woods. I'll go ahead and I'll hit apply. And I'll hit apply here and you can see there it is right there, right? So I will make sure I come over here and I can adjust like the positioning. Let's say I want it up here and I can also adjust the size as well. And then I can hit apply and then let's see how it looks. Yeah, I know the answer to that question. Absolutely not. And, and notice it's moving around. It's not just sitting there, right? Because if it was sitting there, that could still work. But sometimes that's a little bit boring, all right? All right, so now we're going to move to the next section. And like I said, you can hit magic B-rolls and it's going to take you through everything, but I recommend you actually just going through and picking out your own B-roll, okay? All right, so let's go to the trim. So this is where I can hit a button and literally remove the silence from my particular video. Now, I don't have any uh, silence in my video, so if I click this, you can see no silence to remove. But if you had silent points in your video that needed to be removed, it would go through and it would actually remove them. Now, another thing you could do here is you can actually let's say I don't want this part in my video no more. I can highlight this and then I can go ahead and I can hit this right here. All right. So what it did is it just took that out of my video. So now when I watch this part, watch what happens. Absolutely. You see how I cut out? Now, obviously that wasn't the best time to cut, but I just want to show you how simple it is to remove certain things from your video. Okay. So that part is simple. So now we're going to go to the publish tab. So now they have what we call a hook title. Now you've probably seen a hook title on, you know, some short form content that you've probably seen around, but a hook title usually starts off big and then eventually it disappears as you start to get into your content. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So when I hit hook title and I press the button, it's generating a hook title based off the stuff that I was talking about in my transcription. So you see right here, unbelievable social media mistake. So it pretty much went into my stuff and tried to figure out what it was about. And it gave me a hook title and I'm going to show you how that works. So if I come here and I hit the play button, watch what happens. So if I was trying to teach you something and you knew I had no proof that I knew what I was talking about, which you boom, you see how it went away. So it's just something that lasts maybe the first three or four seconds and then it disappears. So it shows the person what the video is going to be about. So they have that mini hook on top of what you're going to say in your hook, just like what you actually saying in the video itself. All right. So now another thing you could do with this, you can actually adjust the theme. So if you don't want impact, you can click here. You can go to glowy. It'll change it up. So let me go back real quick so you can see what glowy looks like. And then you can also go to soft. And then you can also go to classic, right? So you got four choices. And once again, you can adjust the size, make it super big. You can also adjust whether you want it up or if you want it down. I recommend just leaving it where they actually put it at because that's nine times out of 10 gonna be the best place. All right, another thing you could do, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off real quick. Now, another thing we could do is we can actually add music to our stuff as well, all right? Now, when I go ahead and click this button, I'm gonna go ahead and click right here. And you can see this allows me to adjust the volume. Now, when it comes to choosing the music, Music, I can do my own music. Let me go ahead and show you. All right, so you see own music and then premium music. Now do keep in mind, you need to at least be on the pro plan to actually use this music here. Now, if you wanna add your own, that's up to you. You could do that. You don't have to be on a pro plan. You could be on a starter plan for that particular one, all right? So if I come over here, let's say you do decide to upgrade, you can choose from any one of these here. So get inspired, the hype section, the classic section, the zen section. And then if I click on this, all I gotta do is click here to just hear it. All right, so you just click here and just find the one that's gonna suit you best. Now, and then after that, you click on it. When it highlights orange like that, you come over here, you hit apply, and then at that point, it's gonna add it to the video. And let me show you what I'm talking about, what I mean by you have to be on a pro plan. So if I click apply, since I'm on a starter plan, you can see it says premium stock videos, images, and audios, please upgrade, right? So you have to upgrade to use the premium music. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel. And then I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. Now, another thing that they do to help you save time is they help you write description and hashtags. So if I click on this, boom, that quick, it just took care of the description for me. Now, I wouldn't recommend you use that description. I recommend you highly optimize your description by watching some of the other videos here on my channel where I show you exactly how I optimize my videos to get them to be found a lot easier. All right, so now we're gonna go into the export process. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off and then I'm gonna go right here to where it says export and I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. All right, so right here it says quality and then you can see it says standard. I can go ahead and click that 
that, I can go ahead and either make it 4K if I'm upgraded to that plan, but if I'm not, then I can keep it on standard, all right? And you can see it's already exporting uh, and going throughout the process, and then after it's done, it's actually gonna send me over an email. All right, so right now we're on the pricing page because I wanna show you the value of having a tool like this versus either doing it yourself, spending a whole bunch of time, or actually hiring someone else, okay? So you can see right here, the monthly price for this at the starter plan is only $20 a month. So that means that basically, you're gonna be able to upload 20 shorts per month if that's how much you actually decide to do, right? Versus if we come over to a site called Fiverr and you type in short form video editor, if you look right here, the top person best selling at least right here that's 20 bucks right so you paying for one short video in this particular case obviously you want to go and check the details one video you will pay 20 dollars versus being able to come in here upload your stuff have it take care of it for you and be able to do that 20 times every single month on a starter plan right so you got to really look at the the value in having something like this all right now if we go back over here we got the pro plan which as you can see a lot of people use this particular one you can see it's 50 dollars a month you get a hundred videos a month versus the 20 videos a month it just depends on your volume of content or the goal that that, that you're trying to hit per week or per month all right and then over here, obviously these are for bigger content creator agencies. They can go ahead and check out what they got here, which is 400 videos a month, right? That might be beneficial for a bigger agency or something like that, right? Now, obviously I have a 10% discount code, which I have in the description down below, and that's VMM. So when you actually sign up for the free plan, you can actually go and pay for a pay plan and just make sure you use the discount code VMM, all right? All right, so those are the prices for that. and then and if you want to go yearly, then obviously you save money doing the $16 a month rate because you will be paying for it yearly. Hopefully you got some value from this video. And if you did, definitely go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, if you want to get access to Submagic, go ahead and use that first link down below in the description. And also use the discount code VMM to get 10% off of any other paid plans. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.